and welcome to our annual Easter show, starting with the all-time favorite, Easter Parade. Feature Henry Quester and Skeets Herbert in the song Petite Fleur. Henry, you may take it away. <laughs> music makers with a special spotlight on Henry Cuesta and Skeets Herford. And ladies and gentlemen, you won't hear much better clarinet playing than that. This traditional hymn will be heard in many churches on Easter Sunday. Here's Joe Feeney with Bob Ralston at the organ. 
the great favorite, the Holy City. Last night I lay a-sleeping, there came a dream so fair. I stood in old Jerusalem, beside the temple there. I heard the children singing, and ever as they sang, methought the voice of angels from heaven in answer rang. Methought the voice of angels from the heaven in answer rang. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, lift up your gates and sing Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna to your King, Jerusalem, This Easter program reminds me of the many sunrise services I sang for at Forest Lawn Cemetery in Cypress, California. The services were held near a darling chapel with a tall steeple. One of the most dramatic parts of the service was when the flocks of doves would fly out of the steeple, circle three times, and then return to their roost. There was always complete silence, and all you could hear was the flutter of hundreds of little wings. My own flight one Easter Sunday morning was almost as dramatic as that. My husband Randy and I flew to an Easter sunrise service in Miami with Dr. Robert Schuler and his wife Arvella. When we landed, we were helicoptered to the huge waterfront stadium because Dr. Schuler was going to have to be back in Garden Grove, California for his own Easter morning services. We were on a very tight schedule. Following his sermon, he was flown out, and after I sang, another helicopter came for us. It got into trouble almost immediately, and we had to make an emergency landing. We knew the Schulers were anxiously waiting for us, so we had to get into another helicopter, which I certainly wasn't eager to do. Believe me, there were a lot of prayers sent up on that flight. Dr. Schuler was sorry to hear of our misadventure, but we all settled down and made it back just in time. We had many reasons to praise God during our second Easter services. Let's enjoy a pretty song by lovely Anna Connie in English and Spanish. Softly as in a morning sunrise, the light of love comes stealing into a newborn day. The glow of sunshine, a burning kiss is stealing my senses all away. La pasión que yo siento me tiene prisionera y seré hasta el momento. Es 
que vivir no puedo Ven calma mi sufrir Softly as in an evening sunset The light that gave you glory We'll take it all away We'll take it all Many people will be attending sunrise services on Easter morning, so this next song seems quite timely. We feature Bob Smale and the band with Sunrise Serenade. One, and Thank you very much. The Champagne Music Makers and Bob Smale featured on the great piano classic by our good friend Frankie Carr, Sunrise Serenade. Here's some cheerful philosophy for this holiday season. Let's listen to Jim Turner, the song, Everything is Beautiful. Thank you, Myron. Everything is beautiful in its own way Like a starry summer's night Or a snow-covered winter's day Everybody's beautiful In their own way Under God's heaven The world's gonna find a so blind as he who will not see we must not close our eyes we must let our hearts be free for every hour that passes us by you know the world gets a little bit older it's time to realize the beauty lies of the beholder everything is beautiful in its own way like a starry summer's night 
or a snow-covered winter's day. Everybody's beautiful in their own way. Under God's heaven, the world's gonna find a Under God's heaven, the world's gonna find a way, find a way. Thank you. Thank you very much. Even though I've spent much of my working life indoors, rehearsing, recording, and performing on stage, I'm really an outdoor girl at heart. All my life, I've loved to hike. As a young girl in Seattle, I would walk miles from home to either Lake Washington or Puget Sound to swim. These days, I walk from five to eight miles almost every day. And to make it even nicer for me, Randy has created a lovely trail through our own property that connects to a wonderful city trail. It's a delightful way to exercise. Most days, I hike to town to pick up our mail, just the way people do here in Escondido on Lawrence Welk Drive. When Randy had first married and living in Hollywood, we'd head for Mammoth Mountain, armed with our skis, sleeping bags, and rucksacks filled with apples, cheese, and hardtack. We were rugged skiers in those days. I have to admit we like a little more luxury today. Good beds, good food, and hot showers. Another outdoor pleasure for us is gardening, both at our home in California and in Utah. Randy is constantly on his trusty little tractor improving the landscaping. I help with the planting, weeding, and watering, but Randy is the real magician behind our beautiful gardens. We always had magic gardens on the Lord's Welk Show, too. And here are some very noisy, Dutch-inspired couples trying to tiptoe through the tulips. featured some fancy tiptoeing by Bobby Nelane, Mary Lou Metzger and Jack Immel, Sheila Aldrich and Michael Redman, Kathy Sullivan and Ken Delo. Here's a modern spiritual that's quite appropriate at Easter time. Let's enjoy it now with Guy and Rolna. Put your hand in the hand of the man who steered the water. Put your hand in the hand of the man who come to see And take a look at yourself And you can look at others differently Put your hand in the hand of the man from Galilee Every time I look into the hole 
holy book I want to tremble When I read about the part where the carpenter cleared the temple For the fires in the cellars were no different fellas than what I profess to be oh, yeah. And it causes me shame to know I'm not the man that I should be No, no, no Put your hand in the hand of the man who steals your hand in the hand of the man who called to see and take a look at yourself and you can look at others differently put your hand in the hand of the man from Galilee my mama taught me how to pray before I reached the age of seven gentlemen. We'd like to dedicate this next selection to all our Jewish friends who are celebrating the Passover holiday. George Cates conducts the orchestra in the Israeli national anthem, Hatikva. The song coming up next is the title song of one of my favorite Bing Crosby films, The Bells of St. Mary, an Academy Award nominee in 1945. I loved working with Bing, and in 1952, I had a little bit part in his movie called Mr. Music. At that time of my life, I was a member of the quartet called The Girlfriends, Betty Allen, Betty Noyes, Dorothy McCarty and me. 
we sang for Bing on his yearly Christmas radio special for 15 years and did background singing for most of the radio and television stars of the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Our quartet did a lot of recordings, too, singing backup for legends like Frank Sinatra. Nelson Riddle, one of Frank's favorite conductors and arrangers, often used my voice in flute-like obligados. He was a great musician, and his orchestra was one of the finest in the business. He had a style all his own, just like Lawrence Welk did. The girlfriends worked together for almost 20 years, but then I gave up my freelance singing days when I joined the Lawrence Welk television show as the Champagne Lady. I've never regretted the decision. And guess who wrote my first fan letter after joining the show? It was my old friend, Bing Crosby, and he said he'd be watching the show every week. This familiar song seems quite fitting for our Easter show, The Bells of St. Mary's. Gentlemen. <laughs> Bells of St. Mary, a Kurt Ramsey arrangement, and a special spotlight on our associate producer and chief bell ringer, Jack Immel from Portland, Indiana. Here's a song that's right at the top of the popularity list in the gospel category. Let's enjoy it with the Aldridge sisters and the Otwell twins. <laughs> Thank you. 
nicely done, young people. The Easter holiday usually marks the beginning of spring. Two carefree characters, Kathy Sullivan and Ken Dilo, have a few thoughts about this beautiful season. Because of the season, my nature's lyrical with her yearly miracle. It's spring, spring, spring. All the hen folk are hatching while their men folk are scratching to ensure the survival of each brand new arrival. Each nest is twittering, they're all babysittering. It's spring, spring, spring. It's a beehive of Underwater life is forever blowing bubbles too. Every field wears a bonnet with some spring daisies on it. Even birds of a feather show the clothes off together. Sun's getting shinery to spotlight the finery. It's, it's spring, spring, spring. It's a beehive of budding sun and daughter life. Every family has plenty. Even down in the brook, the underwater life is forever blowing bubbles too. Every field wears a bonnet with some spring daisies on it. Even birds of a feather show the clothes off together. Suns get shinery to spotlight the finery. It's spring, spring, spring. That wonderful song is from the movie Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, one of the best musicals of all time. It starred Jane Powell and Howard Keel, and some of the greatest dancers in Hollywood history. I've sung the song many times myself, but I thought it was especially clever of our handsome director, Jim Hobson, to have Ken and Kathy sing it dressed as hobos, enjoying the first nice day after a gold, cold winter. Jane was at her very best in Seven Brides, and believe me, I know because I've seen all of her films. I'm a big fan of hers. So it was a real thrill when my accompanist for 10 years, Phyllis Shetakian, invited me to spend an evening with Jane. They lived near one another and had been friends for many years. Quite often, Phyllis would travel with Jane on some of her concert dates. They had a lot of interesting memories to tell me about, and we all shared some of our backstage stories and on-the-road adventures. I want you to know that Jane Powell is just as sweet and nice as she looks. Speaking of nice people, here's Lawrence Welk to introduce you to three of the nicest. Gail, Ron, and Michael bring you one of the most beautiful of all the songs about the month of April. And love 
Thank you very much, Gail, Ron, and Michael. Beautifully, beautifully done. The arrangement, by the way, by Jack Please, Here's a man who's at the top of his profession when it comes to tap dancing. And this evening, Arthur Duncan is at the top in more ways than one. With Bob Smale at the piano, Arthur does a little high stepping to the old nursery rhyme, a tisket, a tasket. Nicely done, and Bob Smale, excellent. Lovely Norma Simmer, one of the best loved ladies in television, brings you one of the best loved hymns of all time.
I sang that beautiful old hymn on the Lawrence Welk television show many times. It was one of the audience's favorites, and one of mine too. As you probably know, sacred music has always been an important part of my life. During the 1970s, I sometimes traveled as many as 20 to 30,000 miles a month doing sacred concerts all across the nation. In addition to my work with Dr. Schuler, I was also privileged to sing for the Billy Graham Crusades throughout the United States and Germany. The crusade there was beamed to several European countries. So I had the opportunity to sing in Finnish, Swedish, Norwegian, German, French, and Italian. It was a challenge, but I think the audiences enjoyed it, even though I probably had a funny accent. I received a note from Billy Graham recently, and he said he was taking the time off to rest, doctor's orders. And he and Ruth were working on their memoirs. Randy and I visited the Grahams a few years ago, and I can just picture them at their lovely home in North Carolina, sitting on the veranda of their picturesque dwelling, which was constructed from wooden logs and planks salvaged from the old cabins found in the surrounding areas. I'm sure he's enjoying the peace and quiet of the countryside, and I'm also certain that he would take great pleasure in hearing this next song on our program. Ava Barber has a familiar country song with a nice message of faith and hope for Easter time or any time. I'm tired and weary, but I must hold on till the Lord comes to call me away. Where the morning is bright and the lamb is the light and the night is as fair as the day. There'll be peace in the valley for me someday. There will be peace. She does such a wonderful job with any kind of song. Our happy Norwegian Myron Florn found a polka with a timely title for the season of the year. Here's Myron with the springtime polka.
Thank you, Myron, Bobby, and Elaine. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Our choir, under the direction of Bob Ballard, tells the story of the crucifixion. Then they'll be joined by our brass choir for the joyful news of the resurrection. wonderful to hear those choir numbers again. We always spent extra time rehearsing them, and many of the Welk stars worked very hard at home, too, learning the parts and harmonies for the kind of music they didn't usually perform. Thanks to Bob Ballard, our choral director, we turned into a real choir a few times a year. Learning new things was just one of the ways that being on the Lawrence Welk show enriched all of our lives. Making lifelong friends, and having the joy of working with them is another. And of course, knowing and working with Lawrence Welk is one of the true blessings of my life. 
and the lives of all my family. I wish all of you could have known him personally. But then again, maybe you did. I hope you enjoyed this special holiday program, and I hope your lovely spring weather is just around the corner. It's a time of rebirth and rejuvenation, and I hope all of you will get outside and take advantage of it. Thanks so much for watching, and may God bless.